Chris Lindsay, it's no secret wildlife can be dangerous and livestock is left vulnerable to being attacked, especially overnight. But there are ways you can legally handle that problem by yourself. Monique Vincent has firsthand experience with dealing with wild dogs attacking her horses at her small ranch in Marquis. We have had historically significant issues with dogs running loose, running in packs, and getting after our livestock. Left with no choice, she took matters into her own hands. We are to the point where we have no recourse other than to go out and shoot at these dogs. And none of us like shooting at the dogs, but we don't have a choice. Many other ranchers like Vincent take the route of killing wild dogs that attack their livestock. And according to the Texas Penal Code, this is legal. Bell County, Texas Parks and Wildlife Game Warden Christopher Sanchez told me when it comes to wild animals like coyotes or mountain lions, it is legal to shoot them too. There are options available. Nothing's changed over the years. Um, farmers and ranchers have a right to dispatch those animals that are uh, providing that nuisance and protection of their livestock. Um, there's no criteria, there's no licensing or anything like that needed uh, when it's under those terms. Wildlife commonly attack livestock during calving season and that lasts from May to the end of summer. During this time, opportunistic wildlife attack. So shooting wildlife to protect your livestock is legal, but shooting wildlife for sport is not legal. It's a different story if you have recreational sportsmen that are out there recreating, then they need to have licensure to do the same thing. Now, when it comes to wild dogs who may be attacking your livestock, it is recommended to notify your local law enforcement and animal control of the problem to ensure the dogs don't have an owner, guys. Yeah.